Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. This is a camera tripod. Well, it's more for lights because it has a one quarter twenty thread and it's over eight feet tall. It's like eight feet four inches. Bought it from B and H Photo in New York City. It's twenty seven ninety five. Free shipping, so 28 bucks. It's all metal. Uh, this bracket that holds the legs is metal. This clamp bracket is metal. This is metal. Each of these tubes, now they're steel. And that's, I, if I could find this in aluminum, it would be a better device for me. Um, so I'm going to turn it into a tripod for amateur radio use. I'm going to put a uh, a coax connector down here at the bottom and a place to attach radios. So the feed point will be here at the bottom uh, and radios will stretch out. Now this particular tripod is spring loaded. This one I think has already slipped out and um, it will hold a fair amount of weight. Its legs stretch out to approximately three feet between each of the legs so it's pretty broad um, it'll be good in the wind it's meant to hold like a fairly large light um, so and again this part is metal I'm gonna have to figure out a way to put a, a coax connector on here so I'm gonna turn this into an antenna why do that well for POTA it would be a, a fairly good device especially if the radios can be attached like with some kind of plug and jack assembly like uh, power poles or something else where you can unplug the radios and plug them in as you get set up. Um, an eight foot whip on top of it, a CB whip, which should put it on 20 meters. Uh, a shorter whip would put it uh, to 15. No whip, it'll probably hit 10 meters. Um, as to whether or not it needs matching, that remains to be seen may be able to make it work without any extensive matching. Um, although I think at 20 meters, it may require something. Um, so would your neighbors complain if you're in the HOA and you had this in the backyard? I mean, it comes down in a few minutes, uh, goes up quickly. The I don't think the neighbor could complain about it. It doesn't look like an antenna. It's a tripod. Um, in any case, I, I think it'll make a fairly decent antenna because the widest part of this is at the legs, obviously, uh, once they're spread out. And that's the high current place on an antenna. So that should be good. Um, the least radiating occurs at the whip and up. Most radiation will occur at the, at the bottom. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, it's raining off and on. I'm going to go see what I can do outside with this thing. But I mean, it's going to take me probably a day to uh, to do the modification. So uh, when I come back, I'll have the modifications made. And I'll show you what I've done to this tripod to turn it into uh, an antenna that doesn't look like an antenna necessarily. All right. Be right back. Whoa. Did you see that? Okay. So here's the, uh, we'll call it the finished product. I did uh, use an adapter to put on a, a quick disconnect. So it goes from the one quarter 20 thread on the tripod to an adapter to, we'll call it a quick disconnect. It's actually not all that quick a thread's on. Um, but that was really fine. Uh, worked okay. The, um, at the bottom, I used a standard mobile mount that you may have seen, but I'm using it upside down. And that um, the coax connects here, and the radials will connect, or did connect here. Uh, I used uh, uh, solder lugs for now, but I think some kind of quick disconnect um, power poles, I think, would work out okay. Um, here, uh, and that you could disconnect the radials and carry the tripod in and leave the radials in the backyard, if that's where you were doing it. Let me show you some pictures. Um, I'm going to include pictures of uh, uh, rig expert 
looking at the antenna and getting it close to each each of the bands. I had some trouble on 20 meters, I think, because it needed matching. But um, to make this work, because it is powder coated, I I took the the bottom of each section out, sanded off the paint powder coat, and put it back in. And it's that it was here and also on this section. Um, a simple ohmmeter test showed that it was conductive right to the top. Um, and I think that's the best way is to clean off the powder coat um, and then swap out whips as needed for the various bands. So no whip, 10 meters, a CB whip would cover 20 meters, a shorter whip um, about uh, three feet would probably cover 15. And um, it worked well. I compared it to my Yagi. And it was uh, pretty good in terms of uh, reception. So let me show you some pictures I took out in the backyard. Again, it was starting to rain, so I had to hustle on some things. So here we go. Here's some shots in the backyard. And the tripod out in the weeds with uh, some special rubber feet on it and the radials fanned out. Just kind of helter-skelter to see if I could get it to resonate before it rained. Added some beads for um, a common bow choke. And on 20 meters, I sort of above and below is 1.46 or 1.5, and then 1.5 below 20. Um, 15 meters, I did get it pretty close. So these are just some shots of the SWR above and below 15 meters. And here I'm on 10 meters uh, where it really was flat across the entire band. In fact, um, it was flat on most bands uh, with a really good SWR. So that's the tripod. Doesn't look like an antenna. I think it's good for POTA, good for HOAs. A uh, quick setup, tear down. You might want to take a couple of whips or an extension uh, whip, uh, but the um, uh, nine foot whip would be great for 20 meters. Uh, Eight foot whip, maybe a three foot whip for 15, and a no whip for 10 meters. In any case, it worked great. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do that and uh, see you the next time. I'm Jim W6LG, your YouTube Elmer 73.